Hello, Assalamu alaikum, and very good, very good morning from Lahore. As we are discussing the mechanical injuries, and in this we are discussing the sharp weapon or sharp edge injuries. Now I'm going to start with the uh, stab wounds. Stab wounds are the injuries which are caused by sharp pointed objects. These may be penetrating or perforating injuries. And in this today's, this is the first lecture on stab wounds and I will be discussing the general characteristics of the stab wound. That is how the description appears, how we describe a stab wound. And particularly, I will be discussing in today's lecture the entry of stab wound and its variations depending upon different situations. So starting with the lecture note, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, lectures on Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. And as we are discussing the mechanical injuries, and in mechanical injuries for the last few lectures, we are discussing the sharp edge injuries. And as we know, the sharp edge injuries are either the incise wounds, the stab wounds, and the chalk wounds. In the previous three lectures, I have discussed the incise wound, and now I am going to start discussion on the stab wounds. So the stab wounds are basically the sharp pointed object injuries. That is the weapons which have a sharp pointed object. And it is an injury which is caused by a more or less pointed object. When it is driven in perpendicular perpendicularly through the skin into the body. That is the thrusting force is forward, pushing the weapon as per point into the body. And the depth is greatest in its dimension than the width. And the weapon may be either knife, dagger, needles, spears, arrows, scissors, or I speak needles. These wounds can be either the penetrating wounds when the weapon is thrusted into the body cavity that is abdomen or thorax. And it is also called as sometimes in other situation, the perforating wounds. In perforating wounds, the weapon after penetrating through the tissues come out from the other side as an, as an exit wound. So this is diagrammatically shown that the weapon is thrusted in, the tissues are being compressed and the tip is being exited out from the opposite side. So this is perforating. So regarding the general characteristics of stab wounds, the characteristics are, we describe the entry of stab wound. That the most important thing which is to be discussed is the entry wound of a stab weapon. Then it's depth and direction and wound of exit, if any. So the description of stab wound, we describe it, its shape, size and dimensions, margins, angles, edges, and base, that is the depth. And description of the clothes, that is the cuts on the clothes, they are corresponding, or what is the situation of the cuts on the clothes. Then the force, we get an idea of the force which has been inflicted for causing the stab wounds. Now regarding the general characteristics of stab anti wound, the wound of entry is generally bigger than the wound of exit 
because of the tapering tip of the weapon. That is the tip when it enters, the blade is becoming broader and it is generally bigger than the tip of the weapon. Then the shape may sometimes correspond to the weapon used. For example, if the weapon is single or double-edged, slit-like or wide spindle. So the shape can vary depending upon the type of weapon. It, it is single-edged or it is double-edged. For example, a knife with one edge sharp and the other end is blunt may produce a wedge shape. Whereas a double-edged weapon will produce an elliptical injury, having both angles acutely cut. Whereas in knife, having one blunt end, there will be ragged or lacerated margin, then the other will be the sharp, having sharp acute angles. The rounded pointed weapon will produce a circular injury and a pointed square shaped weapon will cause a cruciate injury. Now the variation in shape depending upon different situation and some important points should have, been, should have to be keep in mind. We should keep those points in mind that the variation in the shape can be depending upon different situations. For example, we should understand that the weapon victim is not a fixed object. Victim is not a fixed object. So during the process of stabbing, there is a considerable movement between the assailant and the victim. The shape of the anti wound may therefore may not correspond with the weapon used and it may have an atypical appearance. And if the weapon is twisted during withdrawal, it may cause triangular or cruciate shaped injuries. That is the shape of entry can be varied if the weapon is twisted during the withdrawal, instead of be making a slit, it can make a triangular or cruciate shaped injury. And such atypical appearance may also result when the injury is caused by relatively a blunt edged weapon, such as bayonet of a rifle, causing cutting and tearing the skin during the process of penetration of the blade. And this causing cutting and tearing of the skin during the penetration of the blade because this is having a blunt edge, pointed but blunt edges. So that will cause cutting and tearing also. Similarly, the repetition of stab without complete withdrawal may double the entry. That is the assailant partially withdraws and again thrust in, then this may cause double entry wound. Then the wounds of internal viscera correspond to the type of the penetrative object used usually. But their shape in many cases is modified because of the muscular and elastic fibers in the capsule of the internal viscera. So that shape on the internal viscera can also be changed. So to, to indicate the general features of the instrument responsible for stab wound, the terms incised or lacerated should be used in the description. We should clearly differentiate between the wound being incised or lacerated, that is having sharp pointed or blunt pointed. Blunt pointed will lacerate and sharp pointed will incise. So the terms can be used as punctured incised, punctured, lacerated, penetrating incised, penetrating lacerated, and perforating incised or perforating lacerated. So these are various situations. Punctured mean the body, 
entering into the body cavity. Penetrating or perforating mean going into the body cavity and exiting at the other end. So they should clearly be defined. These are different shapes and types of the weapon having the sharp edge pointed, uh, a point being stabbed. So these are various shapes of the weapon, the sword, the ax, the uh, dagger. So these are various weapons which are used. So the summary of this lecture is that we have learned about the stab wounds and we have discussed the uh, definition, cause and effect relationship and various uh, characteristics of the stab wound, like the shape, size, margin, angle. This we will discuss in the uh, next coming lecture, but we have understood that these characteristics have to be understood when we describe a stab wound. Then we have learned that there are some important points which should be kept in mind for variation in appearance of the stab wounds. So this is all about the lecture. So thank you very much. This is all about the uh, today's lecture. Take care and Allah peace.